In the impact segment tonight, President Obama challenging Republicans' patriotism on economic matters. Listen to what he said at a Labor Day rally yesterday in Detroit. We're going to see if we've got some straight shooters in Congress. We're going to see if congressional Republicans will put country before party. We'll give them a plan and then we'll say, do you want to create jobs? Then put our construction workers back to work rebuilding America. Do you want to help our companies succeed? Open up new markets for them to sell their products. You want, you, you say you're the party of tax cuts? Well then prove you'll fight just as hard for tax cuts for middle class families as you do for oil companies and the most affluent Americans. Show us what you got. But some of President Obama's biggest supporters continue to lobby for more massive spending despite the crushing national debt. The president must be bold. I agree that he must have a jobs program, must create jobs. I'm talking about a program of a trillion dollars or more. We've got to put Americans to work. That's the only way to revitalize this economy. Come on, a trillion, a gazillion, whatever. So is this the direction President Obama intends to take us in? Let's bring in two of our best liberal minds, Fox News analyst Leslie Marshall in Los Angeles and with me in Washington, Juan Williams. Okay, guys, tell me. Now, Maxine Waters wants us to spend a trillion dollars. Juan, in, in the president's wildest dreams, would he ever in any way propose that on Thursday, given what we're seeing with the national debt? I think there's a lot of pressure, Laura, on the president to be bold, to take some action that could be seen as large, as opposed to these kind of smaller bites at the apple that include some of the kind of shop-worn ideas that he's been through before. So people are looking for a big idea. A trillion, I think, is too much. So people don't want to hear the T word, Leslie. I think they hear the T word, and it brings them back to the, the $14 trillion of debt. And now we learn from the White House that the real specifics, the nitty gritty of this plan, especially as vis-a-vis -vis the deficit, won't come for days after this speech. So it was a little confusing. We thought it was going to be a big speech. Now it's going to have some of the initiatives, but not all of them. Well, I, I think that's wise, actually, because I, I, I think that we have short attention spans as Americans and we don't want to hear, we want to hear the details, but not necessarily all in one speech. Uh, speaking to the trillions, I agree with you, Laura, and I don't think, although the president, I think, is going to be bold, I think he's going to be smarter than he is bold. And, and the reason for that is I, I think he has to look at what can I do? I'm up for re-election here. This is all that I've got. What can I do not only to, to keep his position? but for the American people in the next 12 months to just gun-ho, turn this economy around, create jobs, because the stimulus was a long-term plan. So although he may agree with Congresswoman Waters, that's not what we're going to hear and what he's going to do, in my well, opinion. Well, and we, we found out today, Juan, that uh, Nancy Pelosi's office and top Democrats uh, say they're not going to use the word stimulus any longer. No. They're going to talk about generic growth and growing the economy. But for some reason, the word stimulus is now out of vogue. That, doesn't that in and of itself tell us that the stimulus plan, as it was conceived, as it was passed, didn't really got, you know, get them where they wanted it to get it get no, us? No, I, I think it's your success, Laura, as a talk show host. I think people who have been beating up on the president and on his economic plan, in specific, the idea of stimulus, that stimulus was supposed to deliver us from the days of 8 or 9 percent unemployment and drive unemployment down. And it hasn't happened, so then no. everybody blames the stimulus, and suddenly the stimulus has become a stink bomb. And, you know, and, oh, don't mention the stimulus. It's yeah. very unpopular with the American people, even though economists, right and left, mm -hmm. say we do need the government to spend some money. We need government intervention here because the private sector, despite booming on Wall Street, is not hiring people. Right. Well, when, you, when you look back, though, in the first two years of the administration, the White House, the Senate, and the Congress were all in Democrat hands. The president and the Democrats decided they're going to really put their juice behind the health care bill. They got that passed. It was, came at a big political price, I think, but right. they got it passed. In retrospect, you look back on this one, was that the right way to go? I mean, you, they had the control. You can't blame the Tea Party for the first two years of governance. Yet the, the stimulus that was passed, as the president himself wasn't as shovel ready as he thought, certainly didn't deliver on the promises that he himself and Joe Biden said it was going to deliver on. No, but I think that there is such a thing as obstructionism, such a thing as absolutely really demeaning work, though, and defaming every legislative item that was but, on the pre why, on president why, okay forget agenda. the tea party one right, leslie i want you both on this these numbers today that came out washington post abc wall street journal right. across the board are disastrous for the president Correct. i mean i i hadn't seen a democrat today who's defending these numbers this is a widespread belief that what's happening in washington and how this president has led 
has not been successful. Do you, do you agree with that or do you think the 70% wrong track number is somehow a Tea Party concoction? <laughs> I don't think it's a concoction, but I'm not surprised. First of all, you know we're an eternity away from November 2012 uh, in, poli in political terms. Secondly, I'm not surprised because not only do we have bad news on Wall Street, we just had a, a very negative uh, labor report, jobs report, numbers that the American people go zero. They're not happy with that. What's going on economically on an international level? But when we talk about the stimulus, even though people, Americans, left or right, may not like the word, the reality is, and I know people are going to throw their shoes at me for this, why? I hope you're backing me on this. Uh, the stimulus was working, okay? Yeah. And acts of God, such For as, uh, you know, not, not, not only the Mideast crisis, but not necessarily an act of God, but Mother Nature played a huge role. So the stimulus would work. No. And quite frankly, adding more money and spending, government spending, like no. economists say, I agree with one, left and right would work. But right now, that's what the American people don't want to hear that. Remember, we were losing over 700,000 jobs a month. Zero, Zero is better than seven hundred yeah. thousand dollars. I don't think I want to put that on a campaign no, poster. But, here, but, but, but can I ask you a question, Mark? What, <laughs> oh, I asked, sure. what I asked Alan Combs last segment after we talked about the rhetoric, and you heard President Obama using straight shooters right, right after the son of a bee and the and the, and the nasty war language and every, everything. I guess you can use shooters now. You couldn't use the target if you're Sarah Palin, but you can say shooters. Thinking about the landscape today, is he really the best Democrat out there to lead this country out of this economic disaster? Most qualified, most suited, well suited as a Democrat. Everyone in the country, every Democrat leader, if you could switch him out right now, would you? No, I mean, you know, I mean, I understand the fantasy. I keep thinking, you know, the one well, I'm I hear. I'm a Democrat. I'm thinking. I'm well, thinking that today. Well, though, I think a lot of people are thinking about Hillary Clinton. I've heard that kind yeah. of thing batted around, but I haven't heard anybody else. And remember, he's the president of the United States. Even if you ask the National Association of Business economists, conservative economists, do we need a tax hike as part of this deal? Yes, Laura. You but you'll never hear that right. from conservatives. No, you never yeah, hear sure. that from you, Tea Party you won't, people. But I'm just thinking, as a Democrat, do you think he's working? Well, I don't think he's having much success at the moment. I will say he got a bad hand coming in, but in terms of what we expected, you know what? He hasn't been able to perform up to if the standard. If you could switch him out right now and someone else would have the billion dollar war chest, would you? No. I, no. I don't, no, I, I must say, really? I understand okay. the fantasy, but he's a really smart and I do guy he's and a I good and I do sure. believe this. I think he cares about America and he's fighting for America. Okay, I appreciate it. Juan Leslie, great to see you as always. And Carl Rove is